Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to The Daily Life. Today is Wednesday, December the 4th, 2013. And what am I talking about today? Right, today I am talking about women's accessories, as I said yesterday. Um, this topic was not chosen lightly. It was chosen heavily, if you can say that. Um, it was chosen because I don't understand the difference between men and women in this area of life. The only accessory that men have is a watch. Um, that is pretty much the only accessory. I have a number of watches. This is one of my watches. This is another one of my watches. Uh, aside from that, that's pretty much the only jewelry that I own. Uh, I don't wear makeup, even for this show. If I was on a real TV show, I would probably wear makeup, because that's just what they do. Um, I don't have, I have one wallet, which holds all of my credit cards, identification cards, my money, my receipts, everything goes in there. Why women need a giant purse to hold all that stuff is beyond me. If I can walk around and fit, uh, you know, my wallet in one pocket and my cell phone in the other pocket, why would I need a purse? I guess the reason that they need purses is because they have so many other accessories that they carry around all the time. Like, uh, you know, makeup. Have you ever looked inside a woman's purse or even better yet, their bathroom? It's full of makeup. Now, I don't know that much about makeup, but why do you need 18 different products to put on your face? Like, couldn't you just use one? It's a question. I've said it a few times, you should ponder about this question for five seconds. Oops, I couldn't see my baby finger there. Alright, how'd you like that hand signal? You're done pondering. Probably not, but I'm calling it. Okay. So yeah, if you are a woman, please tell me why you have 18 things that need to go on your face every day. Because I don't get it. Um... The other thing about purses is that women carry them everywhere. Everywhere. I have never seen a woman in public without a purse. Ever. In my entire life. Uh, you would think that there would be some place they could go and leave them at home. Like, People go to swimming pools, women, and they take their purse to the swimming pool. Now what could you possibly need to wear makeup for in the swimming pool? It's going to come off. But yet, some people do. And I don't get it. Now this is not all to say that I don't enjoy women carrying purses and all these accessories. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big uh, proponent of societal norms, and uh, I believe that, you know, um, there we go. Sorry, my mouse wasn't working. I couldn't figure out why. Um, that women should do that because. They've always done it. I just don't get why they do it. But now that they do do it, they should continue to do it, okay? It would be kind of weird to see a woman without a purse. Although, I don't knock people that walk around without purses. I've just never seen one, so I can't really judge on things I haven't seen. Um, anyway. There's purses. Another thing is jewelry. I mentioned I have two watches, which is pretty much the only jewelry I own. Um, assuming at some point in the future, if I'm ever married, I'll have a ring. Um, this finger. Why we put rings on the four ring? Why that is the finger that wedding rings go on? I don't know. But anyway, it's not really related to this. Women do not just have one ring, though. They have like four rings. I don't know what any of them signify. I have never felt the need to ask. Necklaces. They, women feel the need to have something around their neck all the time. Again, I, you know, earrings. What could possibly be fun? Another thing, you know, I should do a whole show on like bodily piercings and tattoos and all that. I get ear piercings, okay? I get that. Why do you need a piercing here or here? Oh, there. 
or on your nipple. Some women get nipple piercings. Some women get piercings farther down their body in areas that I'm not going to discuss because this is a family program. I don't get it though. I mean, I can see earrings. People look, I mean, you assume when you look at somebody, you're looking at their face and their ears are right here. So it's obvious that they, you know, I, I understand that. Now, I don't know if you can see my ear, which side am I? The, the traditional place is here. Why would you get an accessory or an earpiece up there? I've seen women do this. Women put a bar through there. That cannot be comfortable, folks. I don't understand it. Or like on their tongue. They'll get a bar through their tongue. You try to eat some food now. See, and tell me how that goes. Try to, you know, I just don't get it. I, I don't get the bodily piercings. I don't get the tattoos. There's nothing that I want to permanently tattoo to my body, you know, that I may not change. I mean, even your name, your, people change their names. There's nothing that I could put on myself that I want to advertise for the rest of my life. That when I was 20 years old and a stupid, dumb kid, this is what I decided to put on my body. I mean, and you see that everybody has them now. I mean, kindergarten teachers have them. You know? So anyway, that's my rant about tattoos and piercings. I, again, I should do a whole show, but men do it as well as women. That's not a women thing. I mean, I see you see men out there with piercings all over the place, and I think it's a waste of money personally. Got better things to spend my money. I mean, buy a lottery ticket for God's sake. You might win a lot of money instead of like, you know. Anyway. So what other accessories do they have? Do women have? Um, Women also wear wristwatches, though I think that's kind of more of a male accessory. You see men wearing these bigger, clunkier wristwatches. It's that kind of the last male accessory that is so socially acceptable for male men to use. You never see men walking around with earrings, or, uh, well, sometimes you do, but not usually. You never see men walking around with, uh, you know, necklaces. I mean, I guess, rarely, though. These are things that we have just not seen fit to to do. And again, by the way, I don't, you know, if you're a man you want to wear a necklace and earrings, hey, go for it. It's a free country. You'll get some weird looks on the bus, but it's your decision. It absolutely is. Um... Hmm. There's a spot on my watch. I'm just twirling the... I'll show you what I was doing. I was... Everything's backwards when I'm doing stuff like this on the camera, so you gotta bear with me. Right here, there's a little knob, which you pull out if you want to, like, adjust the time. And I was turning it around, and one of the... One side is brighter than the other, and it's really... It's kind of weird. I'm gonna put that over there, because I'm wasting time. <laughs> uh, anyway... Um, so yeah, that's that's a watch. Yeah, wa what, what other accessories are there? Watch, earrings, uh, rings, uh, necklaces. You know, uh, bracelets. There's just something I haven't talked about. Uh, women wear bracelets. I don't really have anywhere to go with that, but it's another thing that women wear that you don't really usually see. Man. Man's gonna have something on his wrist. He's probably not a bracelet. It's probably gonna be a watch. Which is, you know, functional. Bracelets are, you know, not terribly functional. But they look good. And I am a man, and I enjoy when people, especially women, look good. Because, anyway. That's about all I have to say. I'm surprised it did that they're getting uh, too political or too uh, gender specific. I know gender issues are a tough issue in society. People are, oh, gender issues, but we address those kind of issues on daily life in a humorous, non-confrontational, non-political way. And that's why you tune in, and I appreciate it. Tomorrow's topic, oh, that is the wrong piece of paper. Tomorrow's topic uh, is office Christmas parties. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you then.